This is the homework for lesson 14. It's module four of grade three. Please write your name here first. Find the area of each of the following figures. All figures are made up of rectangles. So we have some labeling here that might not make everything totally obvious, but this dashed line here tells us where to start. So we have a rectangle that goes six feet by eight feet. So there's lots of different ways you can solve this, but the dashed line that went across here, I'm just gonna use it because it's already drawn. But this is gonna be six by eight, which is 48. And this side is three. And the part up here tells me that it's six feet from there to there and three feet more from there to there means this whole side is nine feet. So that means this bottom rectangle down here that has to be nine times three there are other ways to chop this up uh, as long as you end up getting rectangles uh, but that's the dash line that, that uh, has been given to us here is the suggestion I'm gonna take it and that nine times three is 27 so we have 48 plus 27. Now that 48 is almost 50. It needs two more. So I'm gonna use this little strategy to do my addition. 50 plus 25. So this one is 75 square feet. And B. Lots of ways you can chop this up into smaller rectangles. You could, uh, just to suggest a few different strategies, you could find the area of the whole thing and subtract out this piece. That's one, that's one way to do it. You can now you have one, two, three different rectangles and you can find the areas for those. You can also chop it up like that and have one, two, three rectangles uh, to figure out the areas and add those together. So either you're finding the areas of three rectangles and adding, or you're finding the rectangles of two and subtracting. Most third graders would rather do anything besides subtract uh, in, in a math equation, but I am going to do exactly that because it's only two things I have to figure out. So this whole thing is, if this side here, this is the puzzle you have to figure out. Now, for the whole this whole rectangle here I know this side is 8 and this whole side here is 5 plus 3 so it's also 8 so the whole thing together that means the whole thing is a square because it's 8 times the sides are equal it's 8 times 8 is the whole thing so that's the whole thing and I'm going to subtract out this little piece here now I have to figure out how big that is well, it tells us here that this, if this is three, then that's three and that's three. And if this is eight, then this whole thing here has to add up to eight. And we have two here and four there, so this missing piece here has to be two. So this little piece here is 2 times 3. 
And it's just, if you had chopped it up a different way, then you'd have a different way to find the side lengths you need to find. But every way you do it, you're going to have to look at the sides and figure. It's a, just a, a puzzle. It's just a puzzle. That's all it is. Uh, so this missing piece is 2 times 3. That's the byte that's taken out of it. So the 8 times 8 is 60. Four, and we're subtracting six and I can see think of this six as four and two so I'll have 58 right because this I'm going to take away all the fours and that's so this is kind of like an arrow way way of thinking about it is that'll get me down to 60 and then I'll take two more and that'll mean that'll leave me 58 so it's 58 square inches. And now this figure below shows a small rectangle cut out of a big rectangle. And we have to do a couple different things. Uh, label the side lengths of the unshaded region and find the area of the shaded region. So there's two different ways, really, two different approaches for finding the area of the shaded region. You could chop this up into four different rectangles, either by going like this, right? Then you have one, two, three, four rectangles. Or you could chop it up like this and have one, two, three, four rectangles figure out all those side lengths and all those areas and add them up uh, or you could do it the way they're really kind of suggesting to us here since we were trying to find the side lengths of the unshaded region and it's presented as a small rectangle cut out of a big rectangle then I think it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a giant pain to add all those rectangles together it's gonna be a lot easier to note two rectangles and do the subtraction uh, and I know third graders you're gonna hate doing subtraction and you'd rather do all that work but this is a lot of puzzle this is a bit of a puzzle to figure out all these different side lengths if you're gonna do that for the for the rectangles so let's just do what it said we have to label the side lengths of the unshaded region so here we go think of this We have to find out this side length and that side length of the white rectangle. And here's how we think of this 10 feet. If this is 3 feet, then this is 3 feet. And if this is 2 feet, then this is 2 feet. Which means now that these three numbers this this 10 feet here that's for the whole thing from this end to all the way to that end is 10 feet it's not this little sec just this little section in the middle so that 10 feet don't let that fool you these three sections here the three this one in the middle that we don't know and this two here they all have to equal they equal 10 when you add them all together. 3 plus 2 is 5, so that means that this piece in the middle here has to equal 5. So if this section here is 5, then this section here is 5. And this part here is also 5. And now to figure out so we know this one now we have to figure out this one. Oh, and these are five feet ft the abbreviation for feet all right we're going to use the same trick now to find this side length here but now we're going to do it looking at this whole side. If 
from here to here is seven feet. Now if that's seven, and I know this part is two, and this part is two, together they add up to four. And now this part here that I'm trying to find out will have to be three, right? Because then it's it's two and two. That's four of the seven, so there's three left over in the middle, so that has to be three. Three feet. Three feet. So the side lengths of the unshaded region are three by five. So that did that. And now find the area of the shaded region. That's going to be the, the big, the whole thing, which is 7 by 10. So that's 7 times 10. Subtract the white rectangle, which is 3 times 5. This is 70, and 3 times 5 is 15. So 70 minus 15 equals 55. 55 square feet.